from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, Penn State. I am J.P. Tracy here with your Thursday afternoon Campus Weather Service update. Saying hello to our friends down at PSU Altoona. It's a beautiful sunny day, 72 degrees there right now. Coming back closer to home here in Pine Grove Mills, it is 76 degrees. Still a beautiful sunny day across most of the state as we are under a ridge of high pressure. Taking a look at our current conditions here in the State College area, 76 degrees, dew point 67, so it is slightly muggy out there, but it is not too bad. A beautiful September day here. Visibility is 10 miles and the winds are calm. Taking a look across the center region, we see here in State College proper, it is 72 degrees, 70 in Clearfield, 72 once again in Altoona, 73 up in Williamsport. But as we zoom out across the entire state, we will see we are in the cool spot right now, 78 degrees in Erie, 77 in Pittsburgh, and for our friends down in Philadelphia, 82 degrees already here at lunchtime on Thursday. So just a beautiful summer-like day across the Commonwealth, and this weather will stay in place for a little while. Take a look at our current radar, not much going on here, just a few clouds from time to time, few blips across Center County here. Those are probably just clutter blips, nothing, uh, no precipitation in the area. Um, again, though, dealing with a few clouds. And as we move and take a look off the Jersey Shore here, we see a few more clouds. This is actually blow off from what was once Hurricane Jose, now Tropical Storm Jose, and we see that Tropical Storm spinning right here uh, just off the East Coast. A few rain showers moving into the Martha's Vineyard area and the Cape of Massachusetts. Uh, we see more cloudy conditions in parts of Rhode Island, Connecticut, and then once again down the northern Jersey Shore. But most of these clouds will stay away from Pennsylvania for the time being. We also do have a major hurricane spinning in the Atlantic, the Caribbean in fact. This is Hurricane Maria, which was once a powerful Category 5 storm, now a Category 3. It made landfall in Puerto, Puerto Rico as a Cat 4, uh, did a lot of devastation there. So our thoughts are with our friends in Puerto Rico as they start to recover from Hurricane Maria. Right now the hurricane is just off the coast of the Dominican Republic as a Category 3. Uh, with winds of 115 miles an hour and pressure down at 960 millibars. We expect it to continue to be a Category 3 as it starts to turn towards the north here. It will slowly weaken, weaken into a Category 2 and then a Category 1 as it starts to move away from the U.S. mainland. So we do not expect any direct impacts here in the United States from Hurricane Maria, but we could have some rough seas and strong rip currents along the beaches here, especially in the Outer Banks. So if you are going to be enjoying the beach this weekend, be aware of that. Taking a look back here in the Commonwealth, your future radar, once again, a few clouds here in the east, maybe a little bit of blow off from Tropical Storm Jose, but overall, just a beautiful uh, weekend here we're gonna be getting into. As you can see, Friday, just a few clouds from time to time, but mostly sunny conditions across the Commonwealth, and that continues as we move into your weekend. Taking a look at temperatures, they will remain well above average. Average for this time of year is about, in State College, is about 70 degrees as a high. We see today we're going to be getting into the low 80s, and this trend will continue as we remain under this strong high pressure for the next couple of days. So as you can see, tomorrow, Friday, getting into the 80s, and then once again, as we move into Saturday, this goes out to 11 a.m. or 11.30 a.m., but we can already see it's in the mid-70s, and we'll be getting once again into the low to mid-80s on Saturday. So taking a look at your uh, current conditions here, or forecast for today, excuse me, State College, 83 degrees is a high, mostly sunny conditions with some light winds north at five miles an hour. Tonight, dipping down into the upper 50s, that's still above average for this time of year. We actually are starting to see when it would be getting into the upper 40s at night. So remaining mild at night, 58 is a low tonight with uh, mostly clear conditions, maybe some patchy fog, especially in the valleys as you get up tomorrow morning, but that should quickly move out. Winds light and variable tonight. Tomorrow, once again, beautiful conditions. State College, 83 degrees is a high, mostly sunny, a light north wind. And when we, can, when we remain under these strong high pressure systems, we expect light winds. And then taking a look at your seven day, this is just absolutely beautiful. Looks more like summer, uh, you know, mid, mid June or July, not uh, September. 83 today and tomorrow as we move into a weekend, which is a canning, week, canning weekend for Thon, it will be beautiful out. 84 degrees is a high on Saturday, 85 is a high on Sunday. Uh, the record temperature high on Sunday is 89 degrees, if I recall correctly. So we won't be approaching a record, but once again, beautiful conditions. You will not need a sweatshirt if you're canning this weekend, but you will definitely need the sunscreen. So remember to pack that. As we move into your work week next week, still remaining warm, 84 degrees on Monday, and then taking a look at the extended forecast, 
Temperatures do start to cool off, but still well above average. 80 degrees with a few clouds on Tuesday and mostly clear with a high of 79 on Wednesday. Once again, I am JP Tracy for the Campus Weather Service. Have a great rest of your Thursday.